approaching the BIA barricade. There's tra there's police all the way down. They won't let me through. Why? Because they know what you're doing. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll go this way. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get in though. Okay. Alrighty. All yeah. So they're posting up on this side too. BIA. I got a feeling it would be a moment before they let people. The Rangers. I did, I did, you know, just kind of makes me upset when I see them laughing around like this is the best day of their life. That's what, that's what really hurts. So we're, we're going to go, we're going in the back way, guys. This is the road. We're still going to get you footage. We're still going to get there. But on, and in any area, what you're looking at is, I keep saying this, is coming to a reservation or city near you, what you're seeing here is kind of, kind of, almost like a martial law happening. Martial law enacted on a on a on a community scale, forced removal, history repeating itself, and that's what we're witnessing here. And I know the negotiations were going on in the morning time about um, armed armed uh, officers being inside the camp, which turns it into a prison of war camp when you see that type of action. And so this is this is something that is, we're gonna continue to document. They're not, they let the, the media come in on the 1806 and they let them put on, uh, but you had to go through the governor's office to get a media pass. What we have is, is a, a different type of pass that's gonna give us access. And so they're, uh, they're now on the site, on the, on the on site, there's several uh, film uh, live streamers in that area, as well as ABC. Now, ABC, mind you, was in the North Camp filming behind the North Camp Treaty Camp raid, and they're the only ones that had that had uh, cell service or live feed going at that time when there was a full media blackout. So they had full access. So now, one of the things that I learned from a technical part was the LRAD or whatever was shooting the cell phone blocker was directional. And it only was in front. And the way we tested that also was in the ravines and different areas. Many of you guys don't know when you get LTE service, LTE service bends. It bends. It bends like water, a wave, a sound wave. So it goes in every crevice and every canyon. And even that's why if you're in a, a slow, a low area where there's uh, hardly any cell service, it's because the, the service does bend and it does go down into a, a little ravine. But if it's too deep, it won't. So those are the things I've learned here in the technical aspect of cell phone blockers. The other thing is the Stingray technology that redirects your um, your uh, your ID, your uh, your phone ID access will show a different cell tower. Yeah. And another thing that you can check is log into Facebook and see where your Facebook post is being directed to. There are some tips from Digital Smoke Signals documenting on the ground over here at Oshetti, Oshetti, Shakoan, and Rosebud and Sacred Stones on directional cell phone blockers, as well as was talk from air to ground on drones. So we've also experienced that the FBI is using tools out here and Homeland Security's out here and diff other different agencies. Uh, Border Patrol was another one. Border Patrol has a gun that shoots straight at you they have to it's a directional and they have to point it at you and after all the drones that that uh that we have lost not just from shotgun blasts but sonic blasts rf blasts wireless disconnect there's several different uh different types of technology they've been using on the drones one of the drones was knocked down at a legal limit of uh the legal flying limit in north dakota is 400 feet the drone was knocked down at 380 feet, fell right out of the sky. Brand new drone, 
if there was a technical difficulty, the next drone wouldn't have had the same issue at a 200 feet drop. And later on, the next day, the Dakota Access Pipeline mercenaries uh, took out the drone, which you guys seen in live footage. And then the next day, it was we were documenting the the, the, the barricade move forward and the police shot the drone with a shotgun, 12 gauge. And we also documented that. We've got other footage um, that we've been going through and seeing where the sonic blast was hit at the north camp. One of the ways that you can tell that uh, technology is being used is a, a direct drone out of the, out of the, so this is the R&D stage. Pull a, a clean drone out of the package, send it, set up all the coordinates on it that you need to, set the distance, the flight, altitude, and we send it over there and you can see the ripples in the camera of what's being used on the other side and when your when your remote control disconnects. Even if you're only um, about maybe 400 to 800 yards away and your drone's in the air, it'll still disconnect and it'll say, it'll tell you the, the drone's no longer in radio radio distance. You can see it go blank and then um, if you're lucky, it'll connect, and if you're you're not, you've just lost your drone, which we've lost a few drones right out of the box, just like that. Uh, we're in another area that's straight across from the drill pad, and the, the, we, that's one of the hot zones. We won't we won't fly from there anymore because the drones get lost in that area because it's straight across from the drill, drill pad. What I think what really puzzled me for a while is I seen border patrol down on the hill. But if you don't see Border Patrol, that means Dakota Access Security have this technology. And only a government agency can have that type of technology. So th these are the types of things we're seeing used here. The other uh, access to shoot a drone down was from the air, which on November 20th, we have footage of the drone being shot from above and from a non-lethal um, ammunition that came down. But what bothers me is that that was the ammunition went into the crowd, that bullet went into the crowd, that that rubber bullet or whatever they're using. So we have that on film. We uh, blew it up. These drones film at 4K. If you're familiar with 4K, HD is your standard TV or your iPhone. If you have a brand new iPhone or a new Android, then you're filming at 4K, which is a higher resolution. Red cameras, Red One cameras have 4K. A7S mirrorless cameras are shooting 4K. A lot of new uh, Canon um, cameras are shooting 4K. So 4K is the highest resolution. So when we're color, you can lighten up the color. You can. Yeah. So so we currently uh, we're at Sacred Stone right now, and Sacred Stone right now is a is a safe place to be for now. On the bottom though, it's not going to be so safe because of the Army Corps of Engineers, but there is security down there to keep them from coming up on, coming up on, on th through the bottom. And so people are, are coming over here in their vehicles to be, to come in a, a safe spot in Sacred Stones right now. And, and that's where we currently are at Sacred Stones. Uh, the road is currently open to Sacred Stones for now. That's not meaning that it will be later on. Because we, we did see uh, officers posted at the corner of the uh, uh, Dave Archambault's uh, gas station uh, called the Pit Stop is, is where they're posted across. And on the west side of, of Dave's, uh, uh, the chairman's gas station is the uh, blockade for the, um, to go into the camp. They are letting people into the Shine River camp that that are there. It's actually, I, excuse me, it's not a camp. The Cheyenne, there's a gathering. It's a gathering camp, a gathering place. That's not a camp. Different. I had to get that corrected. How you doing? How you doing? She had a car that was stuck. Are your car stuck still? No, mine's fine now. Okay, alrighty. Community and people looking off each other. Yeah. What you got, brother? Yeah. 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 So, it's Myron. Oh.
So we, we just uh, give an update that they're not letting anybody go across the barricade over there unless you're from the Cheyenne uh, River Gathering. Camp. Yeah. But we don't, it's not a camp because when it's called a camp, it changes the narrative of, gives them a reason to come in. Yeah. So it's a, it's a gathering uh, spot right now that's happening over there for people that want to get in a, a safe place. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, yeah, for me, I was just addressing like how I didn't condole in um, the burning of the houses. We're in the middle of the ceremony when um, the, the first the first house went up. Well, I think I think the reason is, is that they desecrated them before and they're not going to let them take them and desecrate them again. So there was a plan for it. There's a plan for those things, you know, we're on our own terms. Right. No longer theirs. So let me back up. Yeah, here, bro. we'll talk right now. Not that not that I, I knew that. I'm just that's what yeah, I'm assuming. That. Yeah, that's. No, it's right up here. So, so that, that's the uh, that's my my assumption is. Huh? Oh, down there. Go to go to Eagle's Nest in, inside. It's, it's, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Uh, I'm not gonna use that hot spot over there. She had the Verizon the hot spot. Hey, the, so we're gonna cut off relatives. We'll get ready to go live. It's extremely muddy on here, but people are, are coming here to get in the side too. BIA. I got a feeling it would be a moment before they let people. The Rangers. I did, I did, you know, just kind of makes me upset when I see them laughing around like this is the best day of their life. Hey, sister. They're, they're they're not, they won't let me through. Why? They know what you're doing? Yeah. So, yeah, we'll go this way. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get in though. Okay. Alright, be safe. Alrighty. Yeah, so they're posting up on this. Approaching the BIA barricade. There's tra there's police all the way down. 